Welcome back to 3 News on this 4th of July evening, continuing to track Tropical Storm Elsa. It's disorganized out there in the Caribbean. You see that thunderstorm activity, not really much of a center here. It's uh, gone back and forth between a little bit more better organized and then fell, falling apart again. And right now it's kind of going through that transition here. Not the best organization right now with this, but you see some thunderstorms here in western Jamaica here and now moving into Cuba. So it's going to continue to push on off to the northwest. Right now is the 4 p.m. advisory. Winds of 60 miles an hour, gusts of 70 miles an hour continue to push northwestward at 14 miles an hour. So the track pretty consistent as it's been the past several days moving into Cuba over the next day or so and then moving through the Florida Keys and then up the western coast of Florida. Tropical storm watches and warnings already issued for south and southwestern Florida during the middle part of the week and then it's going to move up the coast towards the Carolinas as we get towards the later part of the week. Once again, our impacts here in the coastal bend very minimal from the system but we may see a little bit more higher waves and the better uh, rip current risk rip current risk goes up as you get towards the middle part of this upcoming week thanks to elsa otherwise elsa is going to stay well off to our east back here in the coastal bend for your fourth of july evening mainly cloudy skies out there now fireworks though still looking good we're dry here in corpus christi bay and that's going to continue to be the case for most of the evening However, very unsettled work week ahead. We're talking about day to day chances of showers and storms. Current temperatures out there right now 86, Port Aransas 88 at the Naval Air Station, 90 in Robstown, 89 in Alice. Factor in the humidity. This is what it feels like 105 in Robstown, 100 here in Corpus Christi, 97 Port Aransas, and 94 in Rockport. So a typical summer evening out there. And uh, not too bad. These could be a lot higher uh, for South Texas. Satellite and radar, a lot of clouds pushing on in, some scattered activity. Once again, let's go on a radar tour. Uh, most of the activity is along the stationary front here off to the north from West Texas through San Antonio into the Houston area. You see scattered activity throughout central and southern Texas. Back here in our local area, most of the activity off to our southwest of Corpus Christi Bay. And down south of Fal Furious, north of Encino here, we see one cell with some lightning pushing on towards Route 281. Another uh, group of cells here west of Kingsville heading towards Concepcion and Benavides. This is continuing to push on off to the southwest and uh, some scattered activity up towards Dallas. This is all falling apart. Back here in the Corpus Christi Bay area, we are dry and quiet. We had some activity earlier on this afternoon. Most of this is starting to die off and over the next several hours. That will continue to be the trend. So we're seeing less coverage over the next several hours and we're just going to see mainly cloudy skies for any fireworks plan. So your Independence fireworks forecast looking pretty good. 89 degrees at uh, 6 p.m. here. Some scattered activity between now and about 8 p.m. Most of us are going to stay dry and then we're all dry 9 and 10 p.m. Temperatures in the low 80s. Fireworks this evening on the bay 930 p.m. are a go looking pretty good with temperatures in the low 80s. Your forecast for your Monday scattered activity, not a washout. We will see some heavy downpours though in any activity that we do see the best chance is going to be during the morning to early afternoon. Then we're mainly dry tomorrow evening. Highs in the upper 80s, heat index values near 100. And then we're active for the rest of the week, turning more numerous Tuesday through Friday. We're talking several inches of rainfall possible, looking like a mainly dry weekend next week, but still keeping some isolated showers on the forecast. And every day over the next seven is below average in terms of temperatures. Much more news on your 4th of July evening coming up after the break.